Welcome back to another week absence of Wind Awakers. Yep, we are back. Uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances, but everything's good. And now we're reading mail. My dearest blocker, how are you? We've come to <laughs> you about your boat's extended warranty. And we got a piece of heart for our troubles. How did they stick that piece of heart inside of a mail? The power of postage. I thought you were going to say the power of love. No, that's <laughs> Because stupid. that would have worked work too. No, that's that stupid. Would Who would do something like that? <laughs> Northwest of here. Could you be any more specific, King? No, no, it's just northwest of here. Okay. Could right, you thanks. tell me the name of the island? No, even if I did, you wouldn't know it. What good do you know of sea travel, you dumb bastard? It's north left. <laughs> it's north with a slight left tilt. Wait, don't you do this. Don't you do this. <laughs> Link, Link, I know it gave you trouble, but let's think about this. Your boat's pretty indestructible. I think that'd be, I think it'd be kind of cool if, like, your boat actually took damage or something. If, like, the, yeah, if instead when you get in the boat, instead of your hearts, it's like the King of Red Lions' hearts. I, I feel like it was probably a missed opportunity to, like, upgrade your boat, you know, because your, your boat's always the same, and... The only thing that you can do is like you get a grappling hook that turns into the into the claw and you get the bombs to turn into cannons. But like your boat never changes. Could you imagine if you could upgrade the King of Red Lions so you could get at least a pirate ship equivalent to Tetris? That would be well, I I'd I'd say it probably would need to be small, but you could you could still like expand it. Like maybe it's like, oh, you can put my head on 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 other boats, and I'll I'll transfer my my power to those. I was thinking like, for some reason, with the Zelda series lately, they've had it that Link is basically pulling a Lord of the Rings and teaming up with every race in Middle Earth to defend against the Dark Lord. So we could have had it that this Link could have had like a pirate crew. Oh, that would be. Oh, that I didn't think about that. That would be cool to have. Um. Hmm. Then we could have truly had the One Piece crossover. <laughs> it would have been perfect. You have like have like a Rudo. Have a. Well, it definitely feels like that Makar and uh, oh, I forgot her name. The the bird. Like they felt like they could have become crew members. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want someone that. Small and annoying on the ship, but I guess they probably would have been. They would have made. They would have made a good lookout. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll put them up in a crow's nest. <laughs> Just put my car up there. Yeah, let's we'll get him out of the way. This is a pretty cool island. Just a giant ice island in the middle of nowhere. It's just Snow Miser and Heat Miser just enjoying their tropical vacation. <laughs> He's Mr. Pimbalo. <laughs> and now we get another piece of the map. The Ice Ring Idol, which looks like an ear. Dude, I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and treasure over day. The way that the the way that you come back to this later and like warm it up is is, is kind of stupid, honestly. <laughs> it kind of is. It's also dumb with the fire island. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, where are we heading next? I don't even remember. Great Fish Island. Oh, 
this is this is where it um I forgot that it's it's this close in the game. Yeah, we're actually nearing the half point of the game. Oh, you know what? I um I I saw a I, I saw like oh, well, no, go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying that I, I I watched a video that kind of went in depth about this game about Wind Waker. Mm -hmm. And now I can't remember it at all. <laughs> but it was it was about like um, it was about Link needing to grow up, and I think it revolved around how you know how your grandma becomes like 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 um, stricken with with like grief or whatever. It's it's about like growing up and letting go. Apparently, that's that's what a lot of the themes of the game revolve around. And he went into detail. It was pretty pretty good. It was um, Steve pers perspective. It was a pretty pretty good video. Oh, this is a fun one. They got some really damn good cannons. I can't deny this. Like, I wish my cannons were this good. <laughs> Who's even manning these cannons? They're all they're all just like They're all just done automatically. Yeah, there's just two dudes in the tower just making it work. <laughs> you and your full wallets. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're pretty good with that aim. Oh you, oh you're just gonna use them. What? I got the I'm twenty joy pendants. That's all I needed. Okay. Besides, I didn't have any <laughs> weaponry that could reach them. I don't have the bow yet. Yeah, or you and you don't have bombs as well. Exactly. I forgot that. I, I forgot that like you can't get the treasure unless you destroy the cannons. So kind of pointless right now. Yeah. Kind of annoying trying to, kind of annoying, annoying the fact that you're in a game that you can go anywhere, but it's like, oh, you you don't have the tools necessary to actually get the item here. You know what's funny about the bomb bag? I'm playing Majora's Mask as well on the side, mm. Mm. and in this game, it takes you forever to get the bomb bag. Yet in that game, I can purchase it for thirty rupees right off the bat. Yeah, it's it's weird the type of priorities that uh, that that these that the Zelda games have. Also, I haven't even left Clock Town yet, and I actually reminded myself how surprising it is to collect the majority of masks and heart containers in that area. In Clock Town, it's, it, it's a ton. It's a ton there. Mm-hmm. I didn't even like I said I didn't even go to uh, Termina Fields yet to go to the swamps. I just did the first segment, got the ocarina, got the song of healing, and I've been in there ever since doing whatever I can. God, I love that game. Dude, can we even get in here? Not yet. We need at least we need some kind. We need fire at least. We need the fire arrows, or I think the bombs. Which, Either one will work. Kind of which is kind of dumb because if you remember back in, in the in the volcano, in Dragon Roost Island, mm -hmm. there were boards there were, there were boards that you could destroy just by throwing something at them. Also, now that I think about it, how much hotter is it on Fire Island that, than it is inside an active volcano? You know what? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, you were literally inces from. It's basically, lava. is Do is Doctor uh, Octopus doing cold fusion inside Fire Island? Does Toby Maguire need to pull the plug on that one too? Huh. Oh, there was the uh, cyclone for later. We don't have anything to deal with that right now as well. Yeah, it's so see, annoying just seeing all these things that we can't do. See, this is why I say the Tower of the Gods is like the halfway point. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, actually, a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe after the second visit to Forsaken Fortress would be more of the halfway point, because then you gotta go around and collect all the shit. Mm. 
Yeah, 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 that's the, uh... I find it hilarious that Zelda has been a pseudo s collectathon, yet it's Wind Waker that kind of forces you to play a collectathon. Oh, a speaking of collectathons. Don't really like that. They, not, they, don't, they don't like that part. A lot of people I know probably don't. They don't like the Triforce collecting. Yeah, they made it easier in the remake, if the remaster, if I remember. Yeah. But speaking about collectathons, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online Banjo Tooie was recently released. So we have both Banjo Kazooie and Tooie. Yeah, I did see that. And you know what? Now, I can't, I don't, I haven't confirmed this, mm -hmm. but apparently, ha hasn't it been two years since Banjo Kazooie? The, the, the first game was on the Nintendo Switch Online? Son of a because, bitch. Because people were saying, because you know how at the start of Banjo-Tooie, you know how it says, like, it's been two years since a Baron Bird fought the Wits. Mm -hmm. And now, since they're since since they're putting Banjo-Tooie on there, it's it's been two years since they put Banjo-Kazooie on there. Those clever bastards. I know. I like. I haven't looked this up. I just saw someone mincing it and like, oh, that's so cool. And I haven't actually made sure, but I, I think that's probably true, or at least it's close enough. Oh, this this is a cool part where it, uh, it turns night no matter what. Yeah. Because we gotta we gotta set the mood. Also, this kind of begs the question, like, what we're about to see, if this is what he, like, Ganon's trying to do, why didn't he just do this to the other two locations? Well, well, Matt, it's, uh, it's, it's the same, it's the same as, uh, everything else in the game. He didn't have time. Didn't have time? He just ran, he just ran out of time. It wasn't in the budget to put it where you could actually see me doing these actions. Nintendo frowns upon such things, yet they'll let me kill a woman in Tears of the Kingdom. I did everything off screen. Except for that one part, he freaking punched that one lady's spine into oblivion like it was a Mortal Kombat brutality. You talking about um? Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, uh, I mean, he he also punched somebody in Twilight Princess. He, 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 he like, didn't. No, 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 no. He didn't punch somebody. He did his forward B in Smash Brothers and crushed his head like a melon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What'd you call me? I think that bird just called you a hoe. I I'm sure. I'm sure this joke has been made a hundred times. Before. Wow, that's the same thing Santa Claus calls me. Jabon. So, not related to Jabu. Maybe. Well, pretty close. I mean, it's Jaboon. I like to imagine Greyfish Island is actually based off of the island in Link's Awakening. Yeah, thanks for telling them everything, you stupid bird. I mean, that wall isn't anything special. You just shoot a couple of eggs at it and it breaks apart. Also, if anyone's wondering about all the white dots on the screen, that's not your computer or anything. That's just the game's raindrops. Oh, okay, dude. I had to, like, leaning close to see what you are talking about. I can yeah, see I, them. I, I, yeah, I just... Mean. Well, I'm I'm working off of a smaller screen. I'm, I'm watching this off a of Discord, of a Discord, obviously. <laughs> I have told you, Javon, my task is complete. Goodbye. Suffer the curse, you loser. Now wait, is it is it Jabun or Jabun? Maybe it's Jabun, like Java. I guess it it might be J. Jabun because B U N, but I always thought I always called it Jabun. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go with Jabon. I think we have a tomato tomato situation here. I think there's a treasure chest on this island that you can get to. Nah, I'm gonna work. I don't think I worry about that right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those weird ones where you have to like jump up a bunch of um, jump up a, a bunch of uh, platforms around and change the wind and fly fly around places. It's 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 a really really weird one. Like I said, what in the beginning of this series, uh, we might do. We're at least gonna at least get the fish with all the information on the islands. Will we do everything there? I'm not too Bye. sure. Yeah, 100 100 percenting this game is such a chore because it just it just doesn't keep track of things. Why won't you buy magic water? Why is Beetle trying to sell his stuff at a broken, destroyed island? Why is he selling a red potion to people who are probably dead? See, the fun fact here, this is the first time I actually got forest water, so I didn't know exactly when it was supposed to run out or if it would even bother to tell me. Wow, and it's still sparkling? Yeah, still going. Doesn't this thing have a time limit like 15 minutes? Like three minutes, I thought. No, I think it was like 15. No, it, it, it is. It's about 10 or 15 minutes because huh. you normally have to bring it to um right. to islands in the future. Right, right, right. Also, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Being in Link's situation right this right now kind of sucks. It's dark. It's wet. You have no means of sheltering yourself. And there's no doubt monsters trying to eat you. And all you have is a stinky little red boat. With no defense. No, no, no protection, exactly. The only thing you can do is jump. <laughs> you, you can't even... Oh, yeah, I guess you can jump. Oh, dude, that's crazy. The boat can jump, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> What's even crazier is that the only Link that can jump is the one from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same Link, but okay. Ah, who cares? <laughs> You'll be seeing him later today. Will we now? Yeah, that's my that's my uh character that's that's still my character model in VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> I never changed. I'm just I just literally just picked I'm like, okay, I'll I'll be Link from Breath of the Wild and I just never changed. Because I'm lazy. Oh man, this uh, the, this game has I forgot how much just backtracking this game has you do. Wasn't there something where if you stayed around the Greyfish Isle for so long, you'd start hearing whispers telling you to leave? Uh, I have never heard that. I don't know. Also, I like how the battle battle theme in the ocean is just Ganon's theme. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I hear. Well, is it just Ganon's theme, just in um, just in this area, or is it is it everywhere else? It's just the entirety of this ocean right now. We're just hearing Ganon's theme song from the organ. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that it stays night. Yeah, screw you. I would not be out in this situation. No, I would not be out in the middle of the ocean in a, in a thunderstorm. Screw that. Yeah, you you wouldn't be able to see anything. Look at this! Like, <laughs> <laughs> they Sorry. put those there on. Pur they put those there on purpose. They knew exactly the route you were going. They they put these tornadoes. They put these uh, sharks. I know. Me too. Listen, listen. You're preaching to the choir. I'm. I was a, the exact same way. They taught us cursive in school. They taught us how to write in it. And what? what's the only purpose of cursive these days? Just to sign your name. That's it. Not that's, even? That's the only... Yeah, yeah, well, I've had plenty of times when you have to oh, yeah. sign your name in cursive. Yeah, but then you go to write cursive, but it's all chicken scratch. And for some reason, that is acceptable as cursive. Well, that's because, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I think 95% of the time when you write your name in cursive, it doesn't really matter. Like, no no one is checking. No one is checking to be like, oh, no. is this actually his, 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 his handwriting? Like, no, one, no one's doing that. Nobody cares. I know. 
<laughs> people Look. should just kids kids should just learn how to write their write their name in cursive and that's just be done with it. Learning cursive is the equivalent of learning uh, Latin. Yes, you'd know it, but there was no point into knowing it. Oh, did you see did you see what we passed by? Yep. There was that uh, invisible chest. Yep, there's nothing we can do with it right now. <laughs> I forgot that was there. <laughs> we need the fire arrows. No. Mm. That's not right. Yeah, we do, because we need that in order to light the lighthouse. Yeah, we gotta get the windmill. We gotta get the windmill going. Then we need to go up the windmill like it's like it's a Ferris wheel. And then we need to shoot inside of the lighthouse itself with the fire arrows. So then it ignites. So that and then it lights the treasure. Why did I remember that? How 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 did you remember that? I was just thinking you needed to bring the mirror shield over there and like shine a light on it. But then I'm thinking like, oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work outside. Okay, this doesn't make sense to me. The password is Barnacle, and I was going to show that if you knew the password ahead of time and typed it regardless, he won't let you in until you in instigate the cutscene. But, I didn't get to understand the riddle. A ship's only tooth is a Barnacle? I don't get it. Mm, maybe it's because the Barnacles kind of attach themselves to the bottom of the ship, and mm. because they stick out, they look like teeth. Maybe? The you see, I thought is a tooth decay. I thought it was a gold tooth. You know, pirates. Mm. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I don't get. Clever. I'll that probably just clever. look it up. Yep. This is a weird thing. Yeah. And of course, if you didn't know this ahead of time, you'd be scratching your head at what the frick you're supposed to do. Really? I mean, I, I guess they like direct you to the bomb shop and like, oh, you can't go in the front door. So I guess you gotta gotta find the the way around. You know, come to think of it, he's the only one anywhere, I think, besides Beetle later, who sells bombs. So yeah, I guess he kind of had a right to put a monopoly on it. No one else was doing it. Yeah, I guess I guess they couldn't make out these pirates as, like, the real bad guys. They had to give him a justification. Like, oh, that well, you know, this guy, he, he runs a Monopoly, so it's fine to, 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 to tie him up and still from him. Well, actually, yeah, did you see his prices? He's just, oh, shish. Yeah. Only the rich guy on this island could buy the bombs. Why is your like lines in your like the lines between your eyes like so bright? Is that are those supposed to be like scars? Who cut you then? Eyes are just weird. Like he's the only one that has like these bright white eyes. Like <laughs> if you turn off all the lights, it'd be like those cartoons when you just see the big white eyes. It'd just be his. <laughs> it's I feel so easy to animate. <laughs> Man. The budget really went to shit! <laughs> oh, I guess everybody else has those eyes too. So weird. I'm sneaking, I see you. How can you see me? I don't know, you, maybe you forgot to turn the brightness down in your eyes. The treasure.
And they stole all the bombs. Not all of them, considering there's some still in the background. Yeah, <laughs> we have really. Barnacle! Barnacles! Oh, barnacles. I know. Here that kids at home? Barnacles! Barnacles! Take a picture of it. Spell it. Write it down on your hand if you don't trust your head. And we Link leave him to fan. die. Leave him but to die. Not before we're getting <laughs> cut up by, by, by the fan. Yep. Just like Obi-Wan in the Star Wars Phantom Menace PS1 game. Yeah, I mean, I guess Link isn't much better because he didn't even help help the guy out. He just left. Nah, he was a dick. Leave him. We got more important things to do. In the grander scheme of things, his sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> oh, barnacles. Who taught you how to spell? Get out of here! Now, the weird thing here is... Who was asking that? It was obviously Nico, but... That would entail that Nico ran all the way upstairs to the door, spoke the password, uh, the riddle, got the answer, told us to come in, unlock the door, and then immediately ran to the storage room. See, what a clown. We already know, we already know that there's such thing as sentient doors in this universe. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking happened here. I'm thinking, oh, it is this guy, never mind. I'm wrong. Yeah, plus I the sent he was here. Plus the sentient doors usually have a picture of a person or something. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I was just really hoping it was one of those things to have, like kind of connect them. It was a magical ghost, or a talking rat, or a talking raccoon. It looks more like a rat. I was making a, a little... One Piece joke, but okay. <laughs> But dude, yeah, the dude's totally got like a rat or like beaver te tooth going on there. Leave it to beaver. You can see here we have all these hanging lanterns that are com with completely open flames around. So, you know, we just like to swing around on them. It's completely safe. There's no nothing can go wrong. Absolutely not. Especially with your clothes, Link, that look uncomfortably warm and highly flammable. Clothes are filled with asbestos, right? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look dangerous at all. What's see, what's what's weird about this is that you really don't have to do this any other time in the game, I think. No. I don't I don't remember any other time where you need to swing from rope to rope. It's um it's it's an odd thing. It's it's almost like it's like they're preparing you for something. The but it never it never comes about. The only thing I can logically think of that might have these kind of segments may be the Earth Temple with Makar. No, 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 no. She, he's the Wind Temple, for some reason. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. No! Yeah, yeah, I was just a few... Just one more swing ses session off. Well, I guess you can rob the ship now, because he's trapped in there, and you can just have your free reign. The only problem is that he's got the treasure I need. Not the things I want. So for now, I have to play his game. <laughs> he just appears on a in the gossip stone. Hey, Link, I want to play a game. <laughs> uh, it's just the same that you can't find Tetris ship just um randomly out in in the ocean. Now oh. the forest water became plain water. 
Hey, it's a good thing that didn't happen in like mid swing. I know, right? That would have been weird. Very generous on the time limit. Oh, yeah. But I guess they had to accommodate for the fact that odds are the ones playing this game was going to be like young teenagers. No. Right. They were aiming for young, young kids. Young teenager to kids. Yeah. Not us adults who grew up with the franchise and want to see it succeed. No, not at all. No, they were, they were going for the young kids, especially with this art style. Yeah, screw our old, screw our old fans. What do they know? They were only in the, there since the beginning. We've already got them locked in. I think Nintendo knows that. Yeah, they probably do. Mmm, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you can clear the rope course. So by stealing from pirates, that makes it okay? And somehow she can see through gossip stones, even though that wasn't a thing? Yeah, I don't know. This gossip stone has some very undefined powers. I know in other in all games, if you struck a gossip stone, it told you the time. If you had the Mask of Truth and you talked to it, it told you a secret. And in Majora's Mask, if you played certain songs in a group of them and light them all up accordingly, you get a heart container. And if you hit them with bombs, regardless of any Zelda, they uh, shoot up like a rocket. Space? Yeah, they go yeah, to they space. Go to space. I would hope I didn't get all your bombs. There was only 30 in that chest. <laughs> yeah, really. If that dude only had 30, that was not really much of a mono Actually, that was a more tight-fisted monopoly than he had, that he had actually. If he, there was only 30 bombs in, like, the world. Yeah, I'd hoard that like a dragon. And now we leave another man to starve. And goodbye. That's two people on Link's uh, kill count. Oh, it's it's funny because <coughs> from what Tetra said, it's like, oh, if you don't get there by morning, then um, then then we'll come by and you know, it, we'll 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 get the treasure instead. But obviously, also, there is no morning. Also, keep in mind that they decided to stay in the tavern all night. Not go back to the ship. Nico is screwed. Also, how is this mailbox talking to us? No, and I, I, I don't like how <laughs> it like coughs up the letter. It, it literally does cough up a letter. Also, I find it very convenient that the pirates raided the bomb shop. You got bombs. And now, all of a sudden, Beetle has bombs in stock. Beetle working with the pirates confirmed. It's It seems that way. <clears throat> they raid and they, they raid and sell him things through their spoil bags, and in return, they get a discount. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't go visit the pirates at the, at the tavern. I think you go to, but you hear, you hear like, oh, you hear their voices inside. Better not go in. Oh, that probably is. I didn't think about uh, that. All right. Here's so. The long journey back. Yep. And roughly the end segment of this video. Now time to set sail. And go back. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, I mean, this is at least it keeps it interesting because they they have a bunch of enemies around. Also, anybody who whines about the sailing in Wind Waker clearly has forgotten about the fact that nine times out of ten, you always ha uh, walked to every destination in every Zelda game, and you rarely use the teleportation songs anyway because they didn't really help matters, especially in in a. Ocarina of Time. 
okay. But listen, I'm to, to, to play devil's advocate here. I mean, Ocarina of Time was kind of a smaller space for you to walk around in. This is just like sailing and nothing's happening. Oh. So I can I can see their viewpoint. No, 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 no. Look, stuff is happening. There's treasure and there's monsters attacking us. That's that's true, but the monsters are only attacking us because it's um it's the night. <laughs> well, to be fair, isn't that the same in like Ocarina of Time too? You only get attacked at night in the fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, at least there's not like long stretches of nothing. You can't. They, you just spin the camera around. And don't see. <laughs> That's not true. I saw a cyclone. Also, to be fair as well to Wind Waker, this t its teleportation song is much more valuable than all the other ones, besides maybe Majora's Mask when it came to the owl statues. Yeah. The t t teleportation in this game is... Like, once you get it, it's um definitely it's much, much, much needed. Mm-hmm. It really makes you appreciate it because of how much they make you travel in this game. Ooh, you'll be passing right by the scary peacats. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys are terrifying. Yeah, because somehow they went from being plant life to, f to like fish. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 weird. Then again, fish became bird. They are. They're giant mouths. I didn't think that was gonna work. Never underestimate the powers of pirates. Very nice thought. Thank you. Get over here, you dumb fish. Fill up my map in the rain. With ink. Well, even... Wait a minute. How does he have ink if it's in the water? Is it like octopus ink? Octorok ink? Hopefully. There's treasure that's shining like crazy! Dun, 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 and an dun, enemy dun, ship. Dun, dun, dun. Oh wow! <laughs> that, that was a really good shot. You, you hit him uh, blinded. Still going though. Yo, imagine if we could have gotten, like, a ship like theirs as, like, the King of Red Lions and we could, like, submerge it like it was a submarine. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't have to be crazy, but it uh, having, like, different ships or, like, upgrade ships, that would be cool. Yeah, I know originally they wanted it that you could fish line down between this and Hyrule in the original ideas. That would have been neat. That would have been cool. Like that that would have been a great thing oh. to... Um, Speaking about yeah. Zelda stuff, I uh, actually found my uh, trilogy, my Zelda anthology trilogy, which gives me everything all Zelda. <laughs> a book um, a book about Nintendo lore that was written by Dark Horse. Uh, okay, okay. And I learned that it's at Ocarina of Time where the timeline fra actually fractures. Yeah, 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 I think I think that's right. That's where all the branches start to go about. Mm -hmm. One where Link wins and goes back to the past to warn Zelda, which leads to the Twilight Princess timeline. Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. And then there's one where he stays in the future and leaves, which leads, let's go down the Wind Waker timeline here. And one where Ganondorf actually wins and kills Link. Which leads to the Imprisoning War and leads to the very first Zelda game. And down to Zelda 2. Right. Yeah. I've I've seen that I've seen that online plenty of times. I've seen that uh, I've seen that 
timeline thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the official uh, timeline that Miyamoto himself said. So this is the canon timeline. I don't care what theories <laughs> say or put what. If the creator said it this way, then it has to be that way. That's like saying oxygen is now mustard. Did you did you see how the did you see where where where, where they put um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? I do believe the, they said that all those timelines, regardless of their actions, eventually branched down. They all eventually joined into the Breath of the Wild. Like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are supposed to be at the bottom of the timeline. Yeah, yeah. So from what I saw, it was like they were kind of separate because they, the, their reasoning was like, oh, they, these happen so far in the future that um, that they're just kind of by themselves. So maybe that maybe they're setting up to have some sort of like connecting game between them. Well, they already tried. Well, like I said, they established that all the timelines converge into Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. That's why in Breath of the Wild, when you do all the shrine stuff, there's just a bunch of Zelda stuff laid around everywhere from like all the other games. There's a Minish house. There's the Twilight Realm artifacts. There's even there's even Majora symbols lying around if you look hard enough. Like, it's just a hodgepodge. And even some people will mention events from prior games. Like Zelda, when she's knighting Link, she mentions all the other previous timelines that he was a part of. What game was this again? Uh, Breath uh, of the Wild. Uh, Breath of, okay, okay. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom decided to drop that idea and just decided to try to be a Zelda game. But the problem was they decided to go off the Breath of the Wild mechanics. Well, well... Plus side, they let us do horrible things to Koroks, so all is forgiven. Hey, they, they had that huge open world game, open world land that they created. They weren't gonna let that go to the waste. We're getting another game out of this. I just hope we get away from a lot of the things that I hate about Breath of the Wild. Just give us an open world Zelda, get rid of the weapon durability crap, just make it you get better weaponry as you go on. Blah, blah, typical Zelda garbage. Just give us an open world Zelda 1, you bastards. I mean, the legend, I mean, the Zelda game, like the one that just came out, the Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, they, that, yeah, that, that's fun. I like that. It's, one. It's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big uh, world. It, it's, it's kind of open world. It's big. No, trust me, it's it's a uh, it's open world. I've I've just been running around doing a bunch of shit. I've been ignoring the story, and I got a lot of side stuff done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you noticed that morning has not broken? Da -da -da yeah, it, it took us like twenty minutes to get here, King. Perhaps this is the curse that Balu spoke of. Man, yeah, he just had to spell it out for us, didn't he? Well, we didn't know what the curse was. For all we know, this was Ganon's work. That his monsters could only come... I tried to get back on the boat. Because I wanted to talk to the fish, because I didn't get the hint on the outset here. But I guess I'll have to wait. But you remember that theory we picked up way back? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I thought there were monsters here. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, there they are. Wahaha! Let's go see Grandma. Oh, and here's Slink's Grandma who. Just wants to die. It is a metaphor for not wanting to let go or something crazy like that. If you told me this was supposed to be more of a... More based around Peter Pan and whatnot, I'd, I'd have believed it. Link's pretty much Peter Pan. Ganondorf's pretty much Captain Hook. I mean, come on. Look at Ganondorf and look at Captain Hook. Totally the same. One's got a glowy triangle of god power, the other one just has a hook in a as a hand. Totally the same. I'm 125 years old. 
Just let me die. Here comes the fairies, Granny. <laughs> Ready to <is> come. <laughs> And now the sad music is humble because everything's fine now. Somewhat. I, ga I gotta say this, I, I, the Wind Waker music is actually really damn good. Oh, it's great, yeah. And one of the best items in the game! Oh, yeah. This is All life and magic point. replenished, and you get double attack power. As long as you remain on full health, of course. Oh, Granny, this is really good. What did he put in it? Oh, just some herbs and spices and cocaine. Sorry, what was that last one? <laughs> spices. Uh, yeah, the, the cocaine is is actually going into effect. Look at that smile, Link had. He was the co he just basically came became the cocaine bear. Yeah. That was a stupid movie, but it was also a funny movie. Did you? I, I'm guessing you actually watched it. Yes, I watched it, and it's a it's a dumb funny film. <laughs> oh boy. And now. Eh, well, we can actually end things here if you want, like after the first segment, because after that, I try to go for the straight nines, like I said. R right. 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 It's it's kind of it's kind of weird because there's there's a bunch of monsters on the island, and um. He's yeah he's not out there. Yeah, this is this is the only guy who can who can fight on the island, and he's just in here punching a a fish statue. Wait a minute, is it because of the fact that his poor eyesight he can't see outside? It's too dark. Oh, I, I definitely go out and help, but I just can't see anything. Yeah, apparently backflips don't... Yeah, I tried to... Yeah, for some reason, when I did the reactions, I got those wrong inputs. And then when I forgot about the shield part. But you can easily cheese this guy by just attacking him, and when he goes to swing, instead of using the reaction, just block with your shield. You'll take no damage. But, unless you guys really want to watch 794 hits here... This is the end of this episode of uh, of uh, Wind Waker. Yeah. <laughs> I, did you even did you speed it up at all or no? No, this is just this. We're just so we're just gonna end it here. Okay. So uh, <laughs> we're not gonna we're definitely not going to watch all of this. We'll we'll return when I get straight nines here. So see you later then, I guess. All right. Yep. See ya. Have fun. Have, have fun doing this for ten minutes. Nope. <laughs>